Hi everyone, I've got a really lovely little story that I'd like to share with you. I think it's suitable for everybody because it has a really nice little message so I hope you enjoy it. It was one of my son's favourite stories that we used to read lots and lots of times before bedtime and it's called No Matter What. No Matter What Small was feeling grim and grumpy. Good grief, said Large. What is the matter? I'm grim and grumpy, said Little Small, and I don't think you love me at all. Oh, Small, said Large. Grumpy or not, I'll always love you, no matter what. If I were a grumpy, grizzly bear, would you still love me? Would you still care? Of course, said Large. Bear or not, I'd always love you, no matter what. If I turned into a squishy bug, would you still love me and give me a hug? Of course, said Large, bug or not, I'd always love you, no matter what. There they are, all squishy together. said Small with a smile. What if I were a crocodile? There's Small as a crocodile in the bath. I'd still hold you close and snug and tight and tuck you up in bed each night. But does love wear out? Does it break or bend? Can you fix it or patch it? And does it mend? With time together, a smile and a kiss, love can be mended with things like this. Small and large sat together on the armchair, having a nice time fixing the toy. But what about when you're far away? Does your love go too, or does it stay? Small wondering whether love stays or it goes if somebody close to you is far. Look up at the stars. They're far, far away, but their light reaches us at the end of each and every day. Small and large, looking at the night sky, at the stars from the window. And no matter where they are in the world, they can still both see those stars. It's like that with love. We may be close, we may be far, but our love still surrounds us wherever we are. the end looking out into the night sky have a think about who small and large might be and what that little special message might mean to you thank you everybody